so tonight, WWE, obviously by numerous reports, is scrapping the original plans for SmackDown, and they're going to be doing basically a tribute uh, to Wyndham Rotunda, Rotundo, depending on <laughs> how you pronounce the, the last name, uh, A.K.A. Bray Wyatt, and. You know, we we did find out courtesy of Sean Ross Sapp uh, yesterday, and this was after I did my my video tribute, my my talking about the situation. We did find out from Sean Ross Sapp, you know, who got permission from the family uh, to share this, that earlier this year, and the reason Bray was immediately taken off television around February, you know, just as he was getting ready to go into a program. With who, with basically, as I mentioned in the last, last video, uh, was you know going to be initially you would think Brock Lesnar, but then changed to Bobby Lashley. You know, uh, basically he was taken off. Um, he was taken off the ro road. He was taken off television due to the fact that he had contracted COVID. And what happened is when he contracted it it exasperated a previous heart issue and obviously was taking a while to recover from that. You know, not just from COVID, but from the exasperation, you know, it put on his heart. And it looked like, you know, he was on his way to recovery. It looked like he was going to be on his way back. And then yesterday, of course, he suffered the fatal heart attack um, as a result of what he was dealing with uh, uh, previously thanks to COVID. And of course, and of course, a lot of fans, including myself, were not happy, you know, about losing him. But then, of course, those that talked about it later on uh, were not happy upon finding out the result, you know, the reasoning, the real true reasoning uh, behind it. And for anybody that thinks COVID is completely gone, it, I'll put it this way, it is, it is 85 percent, 75, I'll put it this way, 75 percent, you know, contained, if you will. It's not as threatening as it used to be, but it's still out there. It's still out there. And, you know, whether we want to acknowledge it or not, doctors have said that if you have prior health issues and everything, that if you get COVID, there's a good chance it could exasperate those health issues, can bring them back up. And unfortunately, that's what happened with Bray. It exasperated, you know, his heart issues, which, you know, it, you know which honestly... You know, I, I, I think I speak for anybody. I wish it would have not done. I wish he would have just gotten the COVID, you know, and everything and recovered from it and be fine. I think we all wish that, that he could have just recovered from the issue with COVID and not have it affect any part of his being so that he could come back and be, you know, be who he was, show that creativity that we know, you know, he was going to, he was going to show us and everything. But unfortunately, that, that did not happen. So as a result, like I said, tonight, WWE is going to be doing a tribute to Bray. And they have said that if anybody wants to work, that's fine. If nobody wants to work, that's fine. Because this is something that just, you know, it, it just stops things in its track. It, 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 you know, it just stops a lot of things in its tracks. I mean, I, I can tell you from experience, when I worked at Walmart, I, I knew somebody and she, she was one of the nicest ladies you can uh, work with in, in customer service. And suddenly she disappeared because of COVID issues. And the COVID issues apparently exasperated any health issues she had. And she ended up passing away uh, because of that. And you could just feel, you could just feel the change. Like everything, even though business was going on as usual, there was just like a sudden shift, like a sudden stop, like... You know, you continued working, but it just felt like something was not right. Something was out of place. And that's kind of what WWE is going through right now, if not all of wrestling. It's like all of a sudden things just have stopped. And more specifically, it stopped with WWE because, you know, obviously they were working on plans to get Bray, you know, to bring Bray back. But, you know, before the year is out and, you know, suddenly this happens and, you know, there's really not much you could do about it. 
My only hope is this. My only hope is this. That, you know, Triple H, if he is truly in charge of creative, if he is truly the one running things, my hope, my hope is that he lets and in tribute, in tribute to Bray, because Bray was the kind of guy that obviously if, you know, obviously if you uh, just let him go, which it looked like Triple H was doing, more so than Vince, you just let him go, be himself, and show you how much of a creative genius he could be, he can make magic. So my hope and my hope and prayer, and I know it's the same for everybody else, my hope and prayer is that Triple H, and maybe by extension Vince McMahon, if he can convince Vince, you know, while he is out, you know, to let this happen, my hope and prayer is that Triple H and his crew allow all the superstars to have a little bit more creative say in what they do. You know, just let them, in, in tribute to Bray, in tribute to Wyndham, I think that's what WWE, mostly the creative team, Triple H's team, needs to do. Let, you know, let the superstars, you know, the men and the women there, show you the creative side. Let them, in tribute to Wyndham, show you, you know, how creative they can be he, you know, in the long run, let let them have an opportunity to run with their, with you know their, you know their imagination. Let them run with their creativity, their, you know, their way of helping to tell a story, in tribute to this man. Because I guarantee that if they do that, not only will they be showing that they honor the legacy that this man is leaving behind, but they will be honoring the creative, the creative inspiration he gave everybody. That he showed everybody. So if I'm Hunter, so if I'm Paul Levesque, I I put that into motion. I say, in, I basically say to myself that in tribute to what this guy did, I'm going to let him. I'm going to let not let him, but I'm going to let these superstars, these men and these women, in tribute to this guy. I'm going to let them have the floor from here on in. I'm going to let them show how creative they could be. And if they do need help, we'll be right here for them. That's what he needs to do, in my honest opinion. I think anybody listening to this, I think anybody watching this would agree that that's the one thing Hunter Hunter's Helmsley, Paul Levesque, you know, creatively needs to do. He needs to let these men and women, for as long as they can go, for as long as they can go, Show the creative side. Let them have a have a big say in how, what direction they go in cre- creatively and character-wise. In tribute to Wyndham Rotunda. That's just my opinion. But I just wanted to come out and say that. And again, my prayers and condolences go out to the Rotunda family, to JoJo and the, and the kids. You know. And again, thank you, Bray, for all the memories. But if again, thank you, Bray, for all the memories. You won't be forgotten. And yes, I do think he should be in the Hall of Fame this upcoming year because that is basically a tradition in WWE, if not all of wrestling, if they have a Hall of Fame, that if someone of the active roster unfortunately un- unexpectedly passes, that, you know, they sh- that more than likely they're going to end up being in the Hall of Fame the following year. So, again... Thank you, Bray, for all the memories. You know, you won't be forgotten. And again, I truly believe that to honor, to truly honor this man, Hunter, Triple H, Paul Levesque, creatively, should just let the men and women, you know, on this roster, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, let them show what they can do creatively. Let them go out there and show their creativity to the world in tribute to this man. And just let them know that if they do need help, that he and his team will be right there. But give me your thoughts, guys. How do you feel about what's happened, the revelation of why he passed and everything? And do you agree that in tribute to this man, they should let the superstars have a little bit more creative say in the direction of where they go, you know, from here on in with 
with the added support of saying, hey, we'll be here if you need help. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys, and I'll talk to you all later.